the best step to approach this problem is to split the radicals. So we have radical 56 divided by radical 45, and now we can factor them separately. So the largest perfect square that goes into 56 is going to be 4. So this turns into 4, radical 4 times 14, divided by, and then for 45, we could break that radical down as radical 9 times 5. Now when we simplify family, what happens is the top is going to turn into 2, radical 14, and then my bottom expression is going to turn into, when we take the square root out, 3, radical 5. Now, the reason why we're not done is because we can't have radicals in the denominator of a fraction. So we're going to rationalize by multiplying by that term, radical 5. And whatever we do in the bottom of the fraction, we have to do in the top. So right here, when we multiply these two together, this is just radical 25. We know the square root of 25 is 5. So 5 times 3 is going to give me a 15 on the bottom of my fraction. Now on the top, we have nothing to multiply 2 with. So 2 stays the same. And then we multiply 14 and 5 to get radical 70. Now when we look at this fraction, we can't simplify 2 and 15. So those are going to stay the same. And when we look at our radical, this is going to be the final answer because we cannot break that radical down anymore. Always double check to see if you can actually simplify before going on to the next problem.